when people say dyspepsia or indigestion they do not mean any specific condition but rather general discomfort in the upper stomach which is commonly associated with eating tens of different diseases can cause dyspepsia but the top five account for almost 80 percent of cases we will discuss how to spot the cause of dyspepsia with a high probability based on signs and symptoms the most common scenario is when a person feels full quickly after starting to eat and experiences an uncomfortable sensation in the stomach called postprandial fullness. They may also have pain in the middle upper part of the abdomen and sometimes a burning sensation. This is referred to as functional dyspepsia. However, the diagnosis of functional dyspepsia is made only after other serious causes are excluded. It is not considered a true disease because there is no clear pathological evidence, like an ulcer for example. Instead, it is believed to result from altered gut-brain activity. Treatment involves changing dietary patterns. Eat small portions, frequently and slowly. Avoid trigger foods like fatty, spicy and acidic foods. Exercise, yoga and meditation are recommended. Sometimes acid suppression with proton pump inhibitors is also used. The second most common scenario is when a person feels heartburn, especially after eating or lying down. The hallmark is a burning sensation behind the chest. A person may also feel that food or liquid is coming back up into the throat from the stomach. This is called regurgitation. These symptoms usually worsen after lying down or following meals. Some people experience a sour taste in the mouth, a sensation of something in the throat, difficulty swallowing or a chronic cough. The symptoms can include hoarseness or a feeling of a lump in the throat. This condition is called gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as GERD. It happens because stomach acid flows back into the esophagus and irritates it. The shit is not a natural environment for the esophagus or throat, which is why these symptoms occur. Treatment includes dietary changes such as avoiding fatty, spicy and acidic foods as well as caffeine and alcohol. The weight loss is recommended if overweight. Eat small portions and avoid lying down within 3 hours of eating. Elevate the head of the bed while sleeping. The main treatment involves proton pump inhibitor. Antacids can be used for quick symptom relief, prokinetics, which strengthen the esophageal sphincter and accelerate gastric emptying may also be used, but they have many side effects and should be used with caution. The third most common scenario is when a person has upper stomach pain or a burning sensation between meals or at night. When the person eats, the pain is relieved temporarily. Sometimes this pain feels like hunger or abdominal discomfort. This is usually peptic ulcer disease, which occurs when a bacterial infection in the stomach or small intestine causes an ulcer. This ulcer has significant risks such as perforation or bleeding. In some cases, it can increase the risk of gas. Uh, what is why treatment is crucial. The classical treatment includes proton pump inhibitors and antibiotics to eradicate the causative bacteria. And the fourth scenario is gastritis, which is gastric inflammation. Unlike in ulcer, stomach inflammation in gastritis is not localized but widespread. It usually happens because of the same bacteria involved in gastric uses, but can also be caused by anti-inflammatory medications or alcohol intake. The classical presentation of gastritis includes a burning and gnawing pain in the upper abdomen, which may occur shortly after eating and is often accompanied by nausea, bloating and loss of appetite. Unlike functional dyspepsia, gastritis has a clearly identifiable cause, which is inflammation of the stomach lining. If untreated, it can sometimes lead to ulcers. In severe cases, there may be vomiting with blood or black stools indicating bleeding. The fifth scenario involves gallbladder problems where a person experiences discomfort or pain in the right upper abdomen, especially after eating fatty meals. This pain can be sharp, cramping or dull, and it may radiate the right shoulder blade or back. Nausea and vomiting are common. Sometimes symptoms might resemble dyspepsia with bloating and discomfort. Diagnosis is usually done through ultrasound, which can visualize gallstones and assess gallbladder thickness, a sign of inflammation.
in main cases gallbladder problems require surgical removal called cholecystectomy though sometimes observation is sufficient observation may be considered when there are no symptoms when symptoms are mild and infrequent when they can be easily managed with a fat-free diet or in cases of high surgical risk other more serious causes of dyspepsia also exist such as gastric cancer pancreatitis and mesenteric ischemia but they are less common there are also simpler causes which are not diseases including overeating or eating too quickly eating fatty spicy or acidic foods carbonated drinks and excessive caffeine lying down immediately after eating excessive alcohol or smoking medications like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or antibiotics which can cause nausea bloating and abdominal discomfort gas and bloating caused by swallowing air while eating or drinking carbonated beverages 